Now, you just listened to Guy Penrod, and undoubtedly you've heard him many times before, as I certainly have over the years. Uh, introduced really to the world of uh, gospel music by Bill and Glo Gloria Gaither with the Gaither Vocal Band. I never thought I'd be sitting across the table from you, Guy. Welcome. Oh, my, it's my pleasure. Yeah, it's my I, pleasure to be here. It's, it's, it's a little intimidating sitting across from a guy who has so much hair. <laughs> but as I, as I have That's told people, I had hair once too, but I didn't like it. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. Let's get right to it. Yeah. This, is, this is your first album. Uh, why did you leave the Gaither Vocal Band? Well, you know, it, I think life is like seasons. You know, uh, and uh, we are in a season of life where it's intense at our house. Yeah. We've got seven boys and a little girl from 18 down to four every two years. You just kept trying until you got a girl? Was that the plan? Yeah, it, well, it was actually. <laughs> My wife wanted a girl so badly. She was prepared to put up with all these boys? She was, yeah. yeah. She's been surrounded by testosterone <laughs> most of her adult life, so it's, a, it's a good that that uh, she finally has an opportunity. Oh, there oh, we, oh, we got there. it. We got a picture. Okay, yeah. I didn't know the picture was up there. I was, I'm looking at you. And that, That's my little babe. They're standing next to my other babe. Oh, there you go. That's Angie, your wife. Angie, uh huh. Married how many years now? Uh, 25 this year. Wow. Wow. Yeah, 25. And you have um, seven boys, one girl. Any chance this little girl is spoiled rotten? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and she will be. Oh, now, what's with the Viking motif here? <laughs> You know, we were vacationing up in Wisconsin, or that'd be down in Wisconsin down for you, Wisconsin. probably. No, actually up. From, where, up from, from where we are in the okay. studio, it's up, yeah. All right, and uh, we, we ate at a place called Al Johnson's. They, they probably won't show that picture, no. but it's, it's a restaurant where they have grass on the roof. It's a Swedish restaurant, and uh, uh, goats graze oh, on the roof. Oh, there you go. I, I don't know if you've seen yeah, that before. Yeah, yeah. And a little gift shop with a whole bunch of Swedish and Viking and, right. uh, you know, paraphernalia stuff. So. We got in there, and I, I'm really, I'm not grown up. My body's grown up, but yeah. the rest of me right. acts like a goober about yeah. half the time, you know. <laughs> yeah. And with all those kids, uh, yeah. it's it's uh, easy to do. But you know, to answer your question, it's it was the right time. Yeah. You know how that yeah, goes. Sure. sure. I I'll say it this way: my hair went from black to white in my tenure in right. the vocal band. So before it turned loose. I wanted to go ahead and get this record. Well, there you go. I don't think it's going to turn loose. If it's not yeah. loose by now, it won't turn you loose. Think? No, no. Okay. If, you, if it's going to go loose, you're gone by 20, 21, 22 years of age. Okay. So you're, you're, well, you're beyond that. I'm home free then. You're home free. Good. You're a preacher's kid, huh? I am. Yeah. Uh, sang your first song when you were three? I did. I was told. It is I well don't with my, No, what did you say? Uh, fill my cup. Fill Lord. my cup, Lord. Fill you know that old song? Oh, yeah. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift, lift it up, it Lord. up Lord. Yeah. yeah. We could sing a duet, but I don't want to overshadow you. You know, yeah. it'd be fine, though. Yeah. You, you, if you need a job, I, I, I need a background singer. So. I sing in the spirit. Um, <laughs> that's good. What, um, uh, a lot of preacher's kids have a hard time with uh, the ministry and with being in Christian work because mm. the dad in the pulpit was not the dad at the breakfast table. Mm. That wasn't your experience. No, it wasn't. Um, although to some degree it was. And let me tell you what I mean by that. It is for anybody that is striving to live for Christ right. and hold up his standards. Yeah. Um, I, I firmly believe in, uh, in the grace of God uh, and His yeah. His ability to to work with fallen, broken vessels mm -hmm. because we all are. Mm -hmm. So uh, my dad was not flawless, um, and neither am I. And there's only been one. Yeah. It was, you know. And so uh, there, you know, there are typical parenting mistakes, typical uh, character issues that he dealt with in his life. Uh -huh. But he was a very consistent man. He was a lover of people. Yeah. He loved people, and he gave his life in service to people yeah. through the through ministry. And so I got to see that modeled um, all of my life, and it it is something I'm very very thankful for. When did you know that you were going to uh, pursue singing as your as your lifetime career? Well, it wasn't a plan, yeah. uh, honestly. I it just came naturally, yeah. and it so happened that that it stuck. You know. Life kind of came to me, and I credit God with that plan. My, my dear friends will say, Guy, how you doing with that look, you know, how you doing? <laughs> and, and I honestly say, uh, 
if I had the magic pad and pen, I, I could not dream up a, a plan like God has unfolded for our lives. I'm just very thankful. Uh, and, you know, music is just something that's very, comes natural to me. And I got scholarship through college, um, moved to Atlanta for one year and was in music teaching at a school and then to Nashville, been there 24 years. And uh, like I say, I've just been singing for my supper the whole time. Now you were a session singer, as they say, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, He sang with uh, a lot of uh, well-known country and western stars like uh, Canada's own Shania Twain. Yeah, we d I didn't actually sing on a Shania record, but she was on in the first part of her career, just, just as the, she was launching on a show I sang on called Music City Tonight, and we backed her up. On How did you make the connection with uh, the Gaithers? You know, uh, Bill makes it his business to kind of know uh, the new singers in Nashville. He's always mining for talent, you know. And uh, so he and I have a mutual friend that is a contractor in Nashville. Her name is Bev Darnell, and she contracted singers for, oh, 25 years. And when I came to town, uh, we struck a relationship and I was able to uh, work in the studio a lot with her and her team, the different folks she hired. And for whatever reason, she liked me and she liked my voice. And mm -hmm. at, at uh, the point that Bill was, was making a change in the vocal band, he would always call Bev, hey, is there anybody new in town? And uh, she suggested me. And uh, so then I began that process of huh. kind of checking that out. Uh, in the green room, you referred to the Gaither vocal band as family, and I'm sure yeah. that's exactly how you feel after 14 years. Yeah. Uh, when you think back uh, over all of those years and all of these remarkable people you sang with, who stands out the most in terms of his or her impact on you, Guy Penrod? Uh, 